So how you know it? Welcome to Homeschool Today. I'm Barry Johns. That's Mr. Andrew Johns to all these folks. And I'm Noah Johns. And this is Tuesdays Today in History. Let's get this party started. The date is March 3rd and much has happened on this day in history. That's right, Noah. Bam! On this day in 493, the Herulian leader Ottavacar surrendered Ravenna, Italy to the king of the Oscars named Thederic. That was a mouthful. Anyway, Thederic then invited Ottavacar to dinner where he had him murdered. That's not cool. Then he went on to rule Italy for the next 50 years. Wow! You know what happens next? In 1724, Empress Gensho abdicates the throne to her nephew, Shomu, who becomes the emperor of Japan. Shomu, didn't we see that at Sea World? Anywho, on this day in 1634, the first recorded licensed tavern on the country opened in Boston. That's a do -judge. Anyway, on this day in 1845, Florida became the 27th state of the Union. Yep, not much hockey played outside in Florida. But on this day in 1875, the first recorded indoor ice hockey game was played in Victoria Skating Rink in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It was organized by James Creighton. Yeah, this guy happened to captain one of the teams. The game was played between two teams using a wooden puck. Amazing. Well, in 1887, teacher Annie Solian begins working on a six-year-old deaf blind girl. Her name was Helen Keller. Get this, Noah. This magazine is an American icon, and this day in 1923, the first issue of Time Magazine appeared on newsstands. It was a cover of G. Cannon, the retired Speaker of the House of Representatives. On this day in 1931, after more than a century, the Star Spangled Banner, a poem written by Francis Scott Key, was established as the U.S. National Anthem. That's right, the lyrics of this song were written on September 14th in the year 1814. Key wrote the poem after he watched the British invasion at Fort McHenry in Maryland. The Star Spangled Banner was inspired by the flag that remained standing, even after several hundred bombings that occurred regularly for more than 25 years. Hours. That's a long time. How this happened speculated by many, but none doubt that it's a story of legends and an inspiration to an entire nation, even hundreds of years later. Then on this sad day in 1991, in Los Angeles, an African-American motorist, Rodney King, was severely beaten by white police officers while they were arresting him. The whole event is captured on video showing the world that racism is still an issue in America. When the police officers were later acquitted, the 1992 Los Angeles riots broke out through parts of the city in protest. In 1952, as a part of America's paranoia about the Cold War and communist threats, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld a New York state law that prohibited communists from teaching in public schools. <laughs> anyway, here's another great person from history. And on this day in 1939, Mahatma Gandhi begins his fast in Bombay to protest against autocratic rule in India. It's time for famous birthdays on this day in history! There are some famous people from history with February 25th as their birthday. On this day in 1847, Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the first practical telephone, was born in Scotland. He considered his most famous invention an intrusion on his real work as a scientist. He even refused to have a telephone in his study. I wish these guys would throw their telephone away. Well, on this day in 1911, the 1930s American film actress Gina Harlow was born. She died at a young age of 26 from kidney failure. At the time, she was one of the biggest movie stars in the world. History is fascinating. So many things happen every day and have for thousands of years. You can discover more about history topics that you will find interesting by searching online or visiting your local library. Please hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. It's what keeps us making these videos. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, so you'll be among the first to know and new videos are released. In the famous words of Mahatma Gandhi, a small body of determined spirits, fired by an unquenchable faith in the mission, can alter the course in history. Until next time, happy homeschooling! What he said. Peace. Shomo, didn't we see that in SeaWorld? Anywho, on this day in 1633... <laughs> we can't do this, can we? No, we can. We can. So you just come in with the Shomo thing, ready? Dean is an American icon, and on this day in 1820... And blah, 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 blah! We were doing so good! On this day in 1931, after more than a century, the Star Spangled Banner. Star Spangled Banner! The lyrics of this song were written on September 4th. <laughs> no.